Hey guys, so I'm feeling like 12 out of 10 nostalgic today. So I'm gonna show you how to do the thing that I was probably best at at the age of 12, and it is making little bows out of duct tape. Uh, I made a lot of these. I couldn't find all of them. This is the design I'm gonna show you with the flared ends. These are some of the older ones. You can make them in all colors and designs. It's very easy. You can even make them in very large Jojo Siwa level sizing. And so, uh, you know, all kinds of fun things. You can use all kinds of self-expression. The duct tape company now makes lots of different designs and things, so you can do whatever. When I first started, it was solid colors, not even patterns, and now there's tons of patterns. And all you really need is duct tape. One color does fine if you only have even just like the regular silver stuff. Works fine, it'll look cute. And then you need a bobby pin. That's all you need. And for people who don't aren't comfortable ripping it, scissors. So uh, this will be fun. I will show you my technique. Uh, yeah, get excited. All right, just as a warning, I literally haven't made one of these in approximately 10 years. So we'll see how well the technique sticks, you know? So first things first, you need Oh yeah, see the technique there? You just got pulp. But I'm gonna trim this a little bit because the end here is a little janky after, uh, you know, however many years. I'm gonna, the color you start with, so the big piece will be the base. So in the case of this one, the black is the base. All right, so I'm gonna make the green the base. So I take it, I cut. Like that, here, I'll try to do it a little more here. And then you have the base piece. Now this is the part that's probably the most difficult in terms of you can make mistakes, and it's okay to make mistakes, you can always try again, no big deal. And it's the fold in half. This is the part that really kind of makes or breaks the quality of the bow here. And if you mess up, it's no big deal. Uh, so you take it, you fold it perfectly in half, like so. Smooth it out, attempt to not get any wrinkles, and put it flat. If you're familiar with any duct tape making, folding it flat and avoiding the uh, edges being sticky is a big sign of it being quality. As you can see, I made a little mistake there, you know? It's, it wasn't a clean cut, so I could just take it with my scissors and quickly go snip, and now it's all flat and straight. All right. Step two, we got our square. We love squares, or that's a rectangle really. But um, step two is we want to make a three point accordion fold. So at the end of it, you want it to, see like this one, it's pointed in so that the part that the bobby pin's attached to points down. It'll make it look a little more professional, a little more flared out in a classy way. Because if you look at the back, you can kind of see the duct tape. So you want that part to be folded in. So you want it to kind of be like a little three prong like that. So I always start it, I flip it, fold in, one, two. And it's good for it to be even, so that's two prongs so far. Three, four. So you make three creases. And then you can start to see the bow is taking shape here. See, all right. Now that you got your creases, you didn't have to make the creases first, you can make them after this. So the design. So I put the design on once you have the cube and you have the creases, or you can do it before you make the creases. It's okay either way. And so you take the part that you wanna make the design with, you cut that. You know, if I can do this in five minutes, Five minutes crafts, it has nothing on me. All right, so you take that. I picked rainbow as my accent here. And you, uh, see, what's kind of nice is I, I laid this pretty badly, so I can take it right off because it's not on the sticky part, and so you have a few tries here. Uh, and so you can lay it. I try to just get it a little bit on, see like this? And then you just fold it over 
and now you have the edge. So I'm going to do that one more time to uh, get both sides properly edged out. I like the uh, I like doing two different colors, but some people like them all one color, especially if you're like a person who likes one color. I think this is a great craft for like sleepovers or I started a like art club at my school doing this. I actually won an award because I started an art club making duct tape things. So there you go. One side's a little bigger than the other, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? This is just a demo. And you can do any design on here that you want. I really like the, uh, the closed edges design. I always think it looks really nice, but you definitely don't have to. All right, so here's the part that requires the bobby pin. So you take the bobby pin. Now this is some precision here. So you wanna get a nice thin piece of the duct tape, like so. Kind of similar to, one of the reasons I like to teach this design first is because it's similar in size to the, the end pieces there. So you get a little bit of practice before. I think it looks really nice the thinner it is, but everybody has their own taste there. Ooh, I got some duct tape on. And so now this part, so you open the bobby pin, opened, and then you slide in the middle of the bobby pin, you slide the duct tape in and then close it. All right, so it'll look like that, with some hanging out and some not hanging out. All right, and then you take it, put it flat like this, and then I like to fold the little part up so it's nice and attached. So you see the little parts on and then you take this part and you wrap it around. And remember when you wrap it all the way around, you have to open the bobby pin up again so that it doesn't close your bobby pin. You need your bobby pin to be functional. And then like that. And then you have a completed duct tape bow. This one's a little bit long. I like mine to be a little more square. But you know, everyone has their own preference there. And so, uh, yeah. So yeah, I, it's all done. And all you have to do is open the, up the bobby pin, put it in like a regular bobby pin, and you got a little hair clippy. So, uh, yeah, there we go. My other one's starting to fall out. Super easy, super fun, you know. I, uh, I, really, I really liked it as a kid. It was very colorful. Express yourself. I definitely think this is great for like a medium to low cost activity for uh, a sleepover. If you got like a bunch of girls because then it's just, it makes it worth buying all the duct tape. And you know, duct tape crafts were really big when I was a kid. I'm not sure how big they are for kids now, but I really like them. So there you go. Same rules apply for the big ones, by the way. If you want to try to make a big one like this, like a Jojo Siwa style. Uh, yeah, you just have to maybe use two of the strips, the beginning strips, to and put them next to each other. And if anyone has any questions, I can show you. But, yeah. Very fun. Highly recommend. I'm coming for 5 Minute Crafts Brand. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like uh, craft content or me being nostalgic, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. helps more people find my videos. And... I'm trying to just have some fun and be a Mimi YouTuber. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.